the material out for the face. Mm -hmm. I don't have enough material mm -hmm. to go completely all the way across, so we're mm -hmm. going to do two halves and uh, split it obviously in the middle, and uh, then we'll just seam weld that. And if we have to, we can always reinforce that later. Like that. The, uh, the plasma cutter absolutely has become one of my favorite tools, that's for sure. Say we need 24 inches, but we're going to cut it a little longer. So I can keep track of my tool. Always trim it once it's in, once it's welded fast. This is the I'm actually going to allow one more inch because I need to lap that. I need to, to it's bent over. So I need to uh, I need to allow another inch to bend that. Thank <laughs> you. 
ground. First section. All right. Well, we got the first half on. We, uh, I didn't film uh, actually installing it, but it was uh, uh, it was basically already curved because it came out of a. 275 gallon drum uh, so it was very close uh, to the actual curve that I needed so we just you know a few more clamps onto it to get it down where it belongs uh, clamp it around the edges there and uh, that was it so she's tacked right now we tacked it and uh, so we can take the clamps off and uh, once we get the other this other half on uh, and that tack fast, then we'll flip it over and weld it, and uh, we'll seam weld this, uh, this, uh, the middle, and uh, then uh, we can start drilling the holes for the, uh, the cut edge, and uh, then we'll, we'll roll this, this here gets rolled uh, and clamped onto this, and uh, should be all, uh, should be all set. Uh, then we can uh, grind it down or, or sand it down and paint it. All right. I uh, didn't turn the camera on here right away. So this is the, uh, obviously the back side of it we got painted. I, uh, in the process of mixing up some more paint, I don't want to mix up too much paint this time of year because I know I'm not going to use it. And uh, so we still have to paint the face of it. And we also need to paint the, uh, the, the black uh, part, the, uh, the A-frame, this part, the uh, cut edge over there, and the uh, shoes. So still got a couple things that we got to paint here. And uh, so we'll uh, we'll get the paint and uh, finish mixing it up, and we'll get spraying. All right, we got uh, our paint spray or uh, paint uh, mixed up with the hardener and uh, and thinner, obviously. And uh, we're gonna finish uh, painting the yellow, and uh, we'll get with it here.
the, uh, the technique that you would use to spray equipment like plows, that kind of stuff, isn't quite the same as you would use to paint a car. Uh, obviously, you know, the mixing is the same, uh, etc. But it's really basically just trying to get it covered. Uh, it's a protection. Uh, it's going to look okay, but it's also it's just basically a protection, uh, and uh, that's what we're looking for. We've got to do a quick clean on the gun, mix up the black paint, and uh, we'll uh, we'll spray the black. Okay, so we got the power painted. Got all got all that all set and uh, this is the, the lower A-frame we got that painted and this is the cut edge that goes on the bottom front so that's all painted and uh, and there's the the springs so it's all, that's all painted now all we have to do is wait for everything to cure and uh, we can put her together and uh, got to get four new bolts, grade 8 bolts, and uh, we'll get them and uh, we'll get this together.